I'm a busy dude. I don't have time to wait around and shoo every vagrant off my property. It's time to find some external cameras that can alert me to these KG shortlings. I'm in luck. Eufy sent me just what I needed. The very fresh, new car smell two camera kit S330 Eufy Cam. Or let's dispense with the formalities, the Eufy Cam 3. Retailing at $550, released September 2022. Full disclosure, before receiving this product, I've had zero experience with Eufy. But when contacted, I was aware that they are an Anchor Innovation subsidiary. You know Anchor, the company that makes plugging things in sexy with their heavy focus on design, both form and function, and quality materials. None of my work gets done without this hub. When Eufy contacted me about reviewing their new camera system, I felt confident I would receive a serious camera security product, a true contender in this space. I'll spill the tea. I recommend this system in the main. Nonetheless, I think there are aspects of the system you should mull over before buying because Eufy takes roads less traveled. All right, let's jump in and riff about what's in the box. Once you overcome the top lid, you'll find the home base three the maestro, the brains of the operation. It's where video clips are stored and categorized using Eufy's Bionic Mind AI, or artificial intelligence. A notable advantage of the home base strategy is local storage, letting you keep your video clips in-house while giving you free access to your video clip history. In a world where this kind of access is almost always tied to a monthly or yearly fee that is priced right at the go fry an egg level. And yes, all video captured with the Eufy Cam 3 system is encrypted, making it particularly useless to hackers. Yes, Eufy had a brief but major oopsie on this front in 2021, guessing they're pretty focused on not repeating this mistake. Keeping it real. The Homebase 3 comes with 16 gigabytes of storage, as did the Homebase 2, but the 3 added support for up to 16 terabytes of additional storage. Yes, a thousand times more storage capacity giving you the opportunity to store somewhere between months and lifetimes of video clips. Let's move on to the two cameras. Each camera comes with a generous 13,400 milliamp hour battery. Eufy claims that they can last a year off a single charge with normal use, though, as you may have noticed, these cameras also have a built-in solar panel that, and this is Yuffie's claim, if they can get at least two hours of direct sunlight a day, they can run forever. These solar panels are built discreetly into the top of the camera body, and as their optimal placement is between seven and 10 feet high, they're effectively hidden. Yes, while the wireless option in solar panels do afford a level of freedom and maybe a little relief on the electric bill, unlike a wired camera, these can run out of power on the job. You might also choose to be more sparing in your use of the cameras than you would otherwise to avoid battery drainage, which Eufy generously warns you about. Something to consider. These cameras can hold their own outside with an IP67 rating, meaning they can technically be submerged in up to a meter of water, though I suggest you trust but not verify on this particular claim. You can keep the camera plugged in if you prefer, but it will make the camera less resistant to the weather as the USB port will not be protected. These cameras are more than just cameras. They have a siren and can serve as a spotlight or flashing light, which Eufy refers to as a light alarm. The motion sensor that triggers recordings and alerts are below the camera lens. The microphones are on the front and the speaker is on the bottom. Okay, so what about video capture? Other than being 4K capable, they have a horizontal 135 degree field of view and a very generous F over 1.4 aperture, which lets in lots of light. Color vision is available at night with assistance from the spotlight. If you prefer black and white night viewing, these cameras also have infrared. Eufy provides two white mounts for attaching the cameras to your dwelling. As you can see, they offer a generous amount of angle flexibility. In your welcome package, you have a setup guide, camera mounting templates, and some signs to let marauders know they're being watched. You'll find a power brick for keeping your home base charged and an ethernet cable for connecting the home base to your router. Yes, you do need a physical connection. This may be exactly what you want for reliability, or this may be inconvenient as it limits where you can place the home base and or you may not have additional ports in your router. 
can't help you so much with the placement issue, but you can fairly inexpensively add ports to your router with devices like these. Just something to consider. Here we have our single USB-A to USB-C cable for camera charging when needed. Of course, we hope this is a one-time use cable where you top off the camera battery before mounting it, and then it lives on forever with solar power. And last, screw sets for the camera mounts as well as for installing an optional hard drive into the home base. All right, before we find our work pants and hard hats to mount the cameras, we'll need to put the cameras and home base in close proximity to get everything set up. So if you haven't already, download the UFI security app and follow the prompts. It's self-guided. You will need an account if you don't have one. At some point, you'll be told to plug in the home base and connect it to the router with the provided ethernet cable. Your mobile device and router need to be on the same network for setup. When the light in the front of the home base turns blue, you'll scan the QR code on the bottom of the home base Confirm by pressing the sync button, and you'll then be prompted to give your home base a name. I think my wife's house is default. Dad joke. Okay, now we can finally add cameras. There are a lot of cameras to choose from. We want the S330. Okay, now make sure your camera is next to the home base. Press the sync button until you hear the beep. Then you get that, is it going to work butterflies while your camera is being discovered? Awesome, success. Give your camera a location like backyard or driveway and you have a fully functioning camera. Add the second camera and then give each camera a full charge. Now, I'm a man that doesn't possess certain kinds of skills around the house. So if I can mount these things on my house exterior, well, you should feel very confident. Do the best you can to ensure that the camera can sunbathe at least a few hours throughout the day. So avoid eaves, if possible. My house faces north. Um, I live just south of Canada. Well, actually just north of Canada, if we're being really technical. South Detroit is technically Canada. South Detroit. Anyway, the front of my house doesn't see any sun for about six months, eaves or not. But there's no shortage of sun in the warmer months, which should get the battery back to 100%. So I need this camera to live about half the year on battery. The claim is that it can. I'll have to follow up on that. Note that after mounting, you will want to tilt the camera down at least five degrees for a better view and to increase sun exposure. Okay, so you've chosen your perfect location. The job is basically drill two holes using the stickers as a guide. If you're mounting to brick or concrete, you will want to find something close to the prescribed 15 over 64 drill bit Drill the holes, insert the anchors, and then secure the mount with the provided screws. Okay, now let's screw in the camera and position it to our liking. Perfect. All right, it's time to explore the Eufy app, finally. And this goes without saying, you can access the Eufy app both at home and while away. On the Devices tab, you can see all your components. I only have three components, which are the two cameras and the home base. Let's start with the home base. Here you can add faces of family members and friends so they can be separated from unfamiliar faces, which may be of greater interest if detected around your property. Note that not all clips get a great view of the human space, so many times, at least early on, you get a generalized human detection notification. If there is a good shot of the face, you are more likely to get a named face or stranger categorization. It does seem that sunglasses do somewhat interfere with recognition unfortunately. Other AI enhancements include vehicle and pet detection. This is a categorical classification, so you get a vehicle detected as opposed to dad's vehicle detected or pet detected as opposed to Mr. Sprinkles is detected. You can choose whether you want an AI enhanced feed for each camera by selecting and deselecting here. Backing out to the main home base screen, you can oversee storage management and start to calibrate how much storage you may want based on your use. If you need to move clips from a certain interesting time in your life to an external drive, use the USB 1 port in the back of the home base and archive your desired time frame. The video files are decrypted before being sent to the external drive, so it's viewable on other devices. All right, let's back out to the main screen and play with the cameras. Let's jump into live view by pressing play. 
In this view, you can zoom up to 8x and pan around. For some sense of the quality of resolution, here is what a license plate looks like, which is about 25 feet away. If you do see something of interest, you can start recording by pressing the camera icon, or you can press the scissors icon for a screenshot. Both videos and screenshots are sent to your device's camera roll. You can proclaim yourself to the outside world by holding the microphone and speaking. I am proclaiming myself to the outside world. I acknowledge your proclamation. You can also choose whether you want audio with your video with this speaker icon. In the More view, you can quickly review recent clips, select your style of night vision. Um, if you notice something undesirable, you can sound the alarm and or spotlight using these icons here. The alarm will sound for 30 seconds by default unless you stop it manually. All right, let's back out to the main page. Okay, go ahead and press the ellipsis. If you want your camera to be temporarily disabled, you can have it snooze for a set period of time. Lots of goodies and settings, so let's check it out. You can turn the camera off until you manually turn it back on. Um, motion detection. How sensitive do you want the camera? What kinds of things do you want it to react to? In what part of the camera views do you want it to react? So here I want alerts from people in my yard and driveway, but only as far as the sidewalk. To add activity zones, um, press the plus button and shape the activity zone or zones to your liking. You can adjust power management and see how many milliamp hours are being generated. I think you only need about 37 milliamp hours a day to keep the battery at 100%. And an interesting one for those afraid their cameras will walk off using other people's legs, there is an anti-theft setting where if adultish figure attempts to steal a security camera, the siren on the camera and home base will sound, making the uninstallation process far more unpleasant. If you like a clean video feed, you have the option to remove the Eufy and or timestamp overlay on the recorded video. You can adjust the default streaming quality, which may affect stream reliability based on the strength of your network. I just go with auto so it intelligently adapts based on how my network is behaving. Keep in mind that streaming quality is not the same as recording quality. So you can choose to stream live video at a resolution that is completely independent to the recorded resolution. Okay, let's back out to the main page and check out the security tab. While you may be more interested in using a system like this as a nursery monitor to keep tabs on your family, which is totally legit, Eufy wants to remind you that you bought a security system. So with this system, when motion is detected, you can choose video recording, notifications, camera sirens, the home base siren, and a flashing spotlight, all to alert yourself and deter suspicious people. Now, Eufy knows that you may want different combinations of these things, depending on where you are and the time of day. So at home during the day, maybe I just want to check video from time to time, no notifications, and at my leisure, review some of those video clips that were recorded earlier. When away, probably at some electronic store, I may want to add notifications. You can create custom modes like asleep here, where you might want recordings, notifications, and light alarms on all cameras, and a siren in the backyard. There is no good reason for someone to be mulling around back there in the middle of the night. Maybe you want modes to be controlled via a geofence, so you want home mode when you're inside the circle, and away when outside. Maybe you want the modes to work on a schedule. Yep, that's an option too. There's a lot to tinker with if you find it useful. All right, let's make a quick stop at the events tab. It's a quick way to see all your video clips and events consolidated as opposed to separated by camera. With these clips, you can download, you can share them with friends, you can donate them to Eufy if they're interesting enough, you can delete them, and you can favorite them. Okay, I've covered the vast majority of features, so let's move towards wrapping this up. I've had this system for only a few days, and as I've gained more experience, my fondness has blossomed. Typically, that's a really good sign. 
It executes on the fundamentals extremely well. Motion alerts are reliable and delivered quickly. When I want a live view, I need to wait typically maybe two or three seconds. For comparison, I have Google and Arlo cameras that are both much closer to my router and wired. I'd say the Eufy cams are virtually the same as my Google cams in terms of responsiveness and much more reliable and responsive than my Arlo. I'll admit it, Eufy converted me. Owning your own video is really refreshing and makes the pay to see your own video models seem even more off-putting. The adjustment knob suite for how you want the system to behave and alert you is very robust. Battery performance, well, you know the camera that I placed in the sun. The battery would be well over 100% if possible. The driveway where I was a bad reviewer boy, I didn't follow directions and hid it from the sun, it dropped to about 91% in three days. Now, I was using it probably 20x more than normal. My guess is that I'll have to charge it at least once in the winter, though I'm curious if it can make it till spring. I think a follow-up would be rad. In terms of the AI features, I would say I have not had the system long enough to really give a fair review, as it does rely on learning over time. What it is good at right away is calling out humans, vehicles, and pets and distinguishing that from random movements like swaying tree branches. But it has not yet been really effective in capturing faces and classifying them as familiar faces or strangers. Again, sunglasses kind of mess things up and often the human may not look directly at the camera. This is a bit of a bummer as you do have the option to say ignore family faces, which can do a lot towards filtering unneeded alerts. Though I think it's fair to say that even over the short period of time I've been using the system, I've noticed a higher percentage of correct detections of familiar faces. Now, I don't have deep technical details about Eufy's AI models, but I would hope that they could learn height, shape, and movement and tie it to individuals, even if the face is obscured. I assume this is happening probably to some degree. Anyway, I think the AI part of this camera system is doing pretty well. I think there's lots of room for improvement as the Eufy models mature and my camera has more time to feed those models data. So I am hopeful and I'm looking forward to following up on this video for my longer term conclusions. Okay, before I shut this down, just a reminder that I showed you merely a sliver of what Eufy has to offer. You can have up to 16 cameras and an additional 34 sensors synced to the home base three. So if you like what you saw here, there is a bigger picture to pursue. All right, wrapping this up. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.